So the DJI and Lumix collaboration has finally become a reality, opening up exciting possibilities for using LiDAR in regular cameras without the need for a focus motor. Now, how does LiDAR work and which cameras can you use it with? Let's find out. Well, this collaboration was due for more than two years. The most significant update occurred in August 2023 when Panasonic made an announcement during a press event in China. They revealed that they are working closely with DJI to enhance the compatibility of Lumix cameras with RS series gimbals. Specifically, users of Panasonic Lumix S52 and S52X will soon enjoy direct active track integration with RS gimbals as well as seamless compatibility with DJI's LiDAR rangefinder system on the RS3 Pro. Usually cameras need the DJI Ronin image transmitter and its Raven Eye technology to enable live camera viewing and active track. However, several Panasonic cameras can seamlessly work with the gimbals without the need for Raven Eye. This capability is now being extended to the S52 and S52X, which means that both cameras can access these features simply by connecting to the gimbals. Did you know that 72% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools and most importantly expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. Furthermore, Panasonic and DJI have collaborated to make it possible for certain Lumix camera models to work seamlessly with DJI's LiDAR focusing unit. When DJI launched the RS3 Pro, one of its standout features was LiDAR autofocus which allows manual cinema lenses to autofocus. Normally, this process involves the LiDAR unit sending depth information to the gimbal which then conveys it to the lens through a dedicated follow focus motor. However, thanks to this partnership, the leader module and gimbal can now transmit focus information directly to the camera and lens autofocus motors, eliminating the need for the follow focus motor, meaning it will directly communicate with Panasonic's camera software to provide LiDAR focusing for the lenses. Now, on October 25th, Lumix announced their collaboration with DJI Pro. They're doing this under the brand message of creating new excitement together, transcending the boundaries of stills and video. They aim to work closely with the creators. This collaboration is a response to the growing and diverse needs of customers. DJI and Lumix are combining the strengths and improving compatibility to provide more options for creators, helping them bring their autistic visions to life. As a part of this initiative, Lumix has released a firmware update for the GH6 and GH52, enabling native leader autofocus compatibility. Another significant update here is that they have once again addressed the Cinelike D2 feature on the GH52, which should be interesting. Here's a list of all compatible Lumix cameras, take a look. Additionally, there were instances where the camera would freeze when recording in Apple ProRes modes depending on the settings. This issue has been resolved with this update, so basically this firmware is a win-win update for every Lumix Micro Four Thirds user. LiDAR can solve many unique problems thanks to the high-speed 43,200 ranging points within a 14-meter distance. Extremely fast autofocus is realized, which is also effective when shooting in low-light conditions. This collaboration opens up a lot more opportunities for the future. Do you own any of these Lumix cameras and what's your experience of using LiDAR? Share with us in the comment section down below and consider subscribing for more content like this and as always, thanks for watching.